Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your rich assistant for today. Managing your email can be crazy and you need all the help that you can get to make it a lot easier. Gmail settings can be confusing, but you will not regret making or editing the right ones because it can make managing your email uncomplicated. In this video, I want to share with you Gmail settings you might need to eventually improve your email experience, whether for personal use or business use. We are going to uncover Gmail's most valuable out-of-the-way settings. These next-level options go beyond the broadly known basics and have the potential to reshape your email experience. We are going to discuss maximum Gmail page size, undo send for Gmail, Smart Compose, Smart Compose personalization, nudges, create contacts for autocomplete, vacation responder, and email signature. Let's get started! This is my test uh, Gmail account. Okay, let's um, start with uh, getting into the settings tab. Just hover into the uh, icon here in here and click that. And click the see all settings. Now we are in the general tab of the settings and all of the configuration that we need is in here. The first thing I want to discuss is the maximum page size. So this uh, means that the, uh, it is how to show how many emails um, would show up on your email inbox. So. Um, by default, Gmail um, choose 50 conversations per page, meaning you are going to see 50 emails on the first page of your inbox. Depending on the use of your Gmail or how many emails you are receiving on a daily basis, you can tweak that actually. You can actually change that. If you want to um see all the emails that are coming uh that are um sending into your email and you want to see it one by one you can probably change that into uh 20 conversations per page to see to limit the first page of your inbox to just 20 versus 50. don't forget to click save changes okay Let's hover back to our index and now you can see that it is now limited to just 20 uh, emails per page. Okay, let's go to number two. The second one is a very powerful setting you can use in your Gmail account. So the undo send. Okay, um, let me show you how it works. Let's uh, compose an email. We will be sending an email to Heidi. Okay. And I want to send her um, this message. If you only have your 5 second send cancellation options on your Gmail, it will send within 5 seconds but see within five seconds it is done but if you edit your send cancellation period to let's say 10 seconds okay save 
And then we're going to create another email. A sample email. A test message. We will send this email or message to Heidi and we have 10 seconds to undo that email. Very powerful. You will have more time to retract sending that email. Okay. Now let's proceed with Smart Compose Personalization for Gmail. So it is the same thing. You hover over into the gear icon here and then go to see all settings and then go in um, in here you will need to turn on the grammar suggestions spelling autocorrect and the smart compost writing suggestions on it also in here the smart compose personalization so personalization on and i will show you how it works okay so i wanna okay let's choose one that is already okay and you want to reply to heidi so if you are answering through an email sent to you it's autocomplete sometimes it is the right one the right um word or right phrase you need to reply or to respond to the uh to the email sometimes it's not how are you doing so it auto completes how's your day going so that uh, is how um, the Smart Compose for Gmail works. Also, Smart Compose personalization for Gmail. Okay. Okay, Smart Compose help you write emails faster. While um, Smart Compose personalization, these are tailored um, to the way you normally write. It is like maintaining your own writing style. It is learning your writing style and it will, uh, will write basing on your own writing style. Another powerful setting is the nudges. So you are gonna want to turn that on. So these are emails you might have forgotten to respond. It will appear in your inbox as an alert notification for emails that you might have forgotten. So this is the nudge feature of Gmail. So I do not exactly know how the algo uh, works. Um, that is the nudge, the alert notification in your inbox. So another um, important feature inside Gmail setting is the create contacts for autocomplete. So there are two options in here. Um, when I send a message to a new person, add them to other contacts so that I can autocomplete to them next time. So can, you can choose that one or you can choose I'll add contacts myself. You can add the contacts as you create your email. You can just manually add the contact there. I will show you how it works. So here, so the next time you create it or send a message to a person, it will automatically uh, populate the two um, the two field. It auto completes. Another very good setting in uh, Gmail is the vacation responder on. If you will be away from your Gmail account, like on a vacation, 
or um, you uh, don't have access to the internet, you can set up a vacation responder to automatically notify people that you won't be able to get back to them right away. When people send you a message, they'll receive an email response containing that you've written in your vacation auto reply. Okay, the last um, Gmail setting that I will show you is the um, email signature, whether you are uh, using your Gmail for personal use or for business purposes. This uh, Gmail setting is um, very cool. So all you need to do is go to General tab okay hover over wait here in signature and there you can create your new signatures uh personal signature or i don't know name it uh this is for you to identify what signature email signature you will be using when you are composing your email so uh, I'll just, for example purposes, I will name this email, personal signature, personal email signature. Okay, here you can create whatever you want. So you can create, uh, for example, your name is Jose Fernandez and you are, for example, CEO of what company, whatever, company, whatever whatever that com and you need to also insert your phone number in here like for example your phone number is like that and then whatever you want to put in here you can also add image in here uh, you can see the option so add insert image in here um, this uh, company whatever that com you can insert a link in there okay that can be um, uh, clickable so put whatever you want to put in here I will throw in a free HTML email signature for you just show me that you've already sub subscribed to my channel and uh, I will send you an HTML version or HTML um, format of email signature for free Subscribe to my YouTube channel first. Good luck. There you go. Uh, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification. If you want new updates on entrepreneurship, small business strategy, social media, automation for your business, and digital marketing. Also, please leave this video a thumbs up if you find this helpful and leave a nice comment down below if you're feeling generous.